Hi, I'm Colin and welcome to How to Paint Watercolours. So if you're ready, we'll get started and we'll paint this one. Hello YouTubers, welcome back to my channel, How to Paint Watercolours with me, Colin. I've stretched my paper and I'm just taking off the excess water from around the sides just to minimise any runbacks. Just dry a bit of the uh, cottage off, kitchen towel rolled up, some of the wall, just might just do the sea as well. This is a touch of Hansa lemon yellow. Pencil to marine and burnt umber to make a, a grey. And I'm using the Turner's Artist Quality Paints again today. Um, I'll leave a link in the description box of where you can find these if you want to uh, take a look at them. I'll also leave a link in the description box to the other videos I've made for YouTube should you want to have a, a look at them as well. And just a quick hello to Chrissy Canvas Art. She is a acrylic artist. Pop across and see her if you get the chance. I'm sure she would welcome you. With a stronger mixture of the same colour. Remember this will dry lighter. Just softening some of the edges in. Some Hansa Lemon Yellow just in the foreground here and I'm just creating a bright spot. This is New Gamboge, French Ultramarine with a touch of transparent yellow. Just taking it to the green side a little bit. Touch of raw sienna. Some gambles and French ultramarine. Gently bring the colours together. I just want to drop a little bit of Naples yellow in as well. Just softening it together. Soften it off against the wall. Just making sure we keep our light patch light. Maybe just a touch of Hanser in there as well. Just soften some of this yellow into your cottage. Just tidying up my rocks. Now we're just going to leave this to dry. Now that's dried out, I'm just going to take some clean water and we're just going to re-wet these background hills. I'm just going to drop in a little Naples yellow. We also want to drop in some raw sienna. going to leave that to dry for a moment or two and I also want to add some Naples yellow into the roof of this cottage here this thatched roof I think will make it some raw sienna just pull it down in the direction of how you want the the roof, the thatch roof to be. And I just want to add a little bit of Indian red. And then we're just going to leave that to dry. Now that your background hills are dry, we're going to re-wet them again. 
And the reason why I've allowed them to dry and then re-wet them is so that the paint has time to adhere to the paper because we'll be floating a colour on top of this. And I just want to separate these hills so I'm going carefully up to the line but not over it just leaving a little gap. I have got the board set at a slight angle. Then with some of your Sky Color, which is the French Ultramarine and Burnt Sienna. I'm just going to drop this in along the top, but I want it to be quite pale for this furthest one away. So I'm just going to add a little bit of water to that and just pale it down. second one softening it off at the bottom same for this one just re-wetting the back edge of this cottage maybe the back edge of this chimney Taking a little cobalt blue, just dropping that in for the shadow. Taking some of your sky colour, which also is your hill colour, your mountain colour. And I'm just going to drop a shadow side underneath the eave. Softening it all in. re-wet these rocks just a touch of cobalt blue a little strong that I'll clean that off just keep it pale some clean water in here as well just wet the uh, dry stone wall some cobalt blue this is a, a touch of Indian red French ultramarine and burnt umber Just softening it all together. This is uh, Gamboge and French Ultramarine with some raw umber in it. Just to take the edge off it down a little bit. And we'll just add a little bit of moss, maybe growing. And Naples yellow. We'll just flip back, you can hardly see it, but it will make a difference. Some Indian red. Too much on the brush. Don't have your edge straight on a thatched roof. They're never perfectly straight. Just taking a little of your sky colour, French Ultramarine and Burnt Sienna. And maybe I just want to drop a little dark intermittently along the edge. I'll just drop in some sky colour once again. screwing up a piece of kitchen towel and I just want to lift out some light patches in the wall it's 
some of the Hansa lemon yellow I'm just a little bit much on that just bring it into the sea this is some of your paler sky wash French Ultramarine and Burnt Umber just dragging the brush along the paper for a little hit and miss effect and while we're here we'll just put the shadow side into this window softening it off at the bottom a little darker on the inside and I'm just re-wetting the top half of this cottage once again some of your sky colour French ultramarine and burnt sienna and right under the eaves I'm just going to drop a shadow in pot in. You can use any cord for this, I'm just using a bit of uh, madder brown. Just adds a little bit of red, helps pull your eye in. And once again <clears throat> we're just going to let this dry off a little bit. Now that you see it's dried off a little bit I just want to run some cobalt blue over the top of this. The dry brush effect so you get hit and miss. brown mudder, a bit of water to that I think. Just put the door in, sneaked in a bit more red. Just making it stronger at the top. And you see how you've got it at the bottom here, where well, you need to soften that off so your eye's not drawn into it to a hard edge and it helps to ground the cottage into the painting so soften off the bottom and taking some of your sky colour once again French Ultramarine and Burnt Sienna I'm just going to drop some of this in as well pop some windows in as well just taking some raw sienna and just run it up these trees and some of the dark green with the Gamboge, French Ultramarine and a touch of Burnt Umber in it, just drop that in. I have three mixes of Burnt Umber and French Ultramarine here. It's burnt Umber in the middle is French Ultramarine and Burnt Umber but this is a neutral, it's neither black, it's neither blue and it's neither brown. This is mixed to the brown side and the other one is mixed to the blue side. So one contains more blue than the other and one contains more brown than the other. Now I'm just going to turn the board round and continue to pull the branches out. Just coming over the chimney there.
boots and the board again. Board background. Just taking some French ultramarine and burnt umber, and we can just begin to put just a little bit of brickwork in, or just cracks and lines, really. Same with the wall. Run some fracture lines in these rocks. So I'm just going to wet around the bottom third of this paper and taking some of my dark green which is the Gamboge French Ultramarine with some raw umber added into it and I just want to bring some of this in here just to darken it and it helps to throw your eye into the picture Soften this in, weakening it off as it comes into the, the yellow. And maybe I think we should just run a little bit back here. To drop some dark into this pathway here. ultramarine and burnt sienna Get some of that green into there some raw umber into it just to darken it just to make it that earthy green looking taking my mop brush trying it out tapping it onto the brush I'm just going to drop some leaves and foliage in and who knows maybe a bit of lighter green Right. we have to leave this to dry just a couple more things really to do to it I'm just going to put a little bit of extra sparkle on the sea at the back I'm just using a craft blade maybe some blades of grass just picking up some of the dark mixture really for this around these rocks just an indication of some door planks put some birds in I think put three in I'll leave uh, three or four suggestions for other videos at the end of this video and if you wait till the end and have a look at them you can have a look at some other videos I've made for YouTube if not I will leave a link in the description box and it will take you straight to the other videos I've made I think there's about 150 now but now you get round to the best bit and this is where you get to sign it mount it and frame it so once again 
I'd like to thank you all very much for watching and please leave a comment. So, thank you.